Hello grade twos, welcome to your maths video. Today we will be doing your data handling video and so pay careful attention to the slideshow and listen carefully. Today you don't need any piece of paper or anything. I want you to just think about what some of your favorite toys could be. Um, so I'm going to share my screen for you. Okay, so we are doing data handling and for some of you who don't know me, I am Miss Vieira. I am the new teacher in grade two this year. So if we look at the slide over here, we can see it says favorite toys pictogram. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the favorite toys and then we're going to see how many there are um, and we're going to compare them. So the first one is a doll. So we've got one, two, three. So there would be three people in the class that like to, that their favorite toy is a doll. Wait, there might be one more. Yes, there, sorry, so there's four. So you can see one, two, three, four. There would be four people in the class whose favorite toy is a doll. If we have a look at the teddy bears, I wonder how many people like the teddy bear as their favorite. I quite like teddy bears, I don't know about you, but they're nice at night when you're in bed and then you can hold your teddy bears to make you, keep you warm. So there are three teddy bears. So three people in the class have their favorite toy as a teddy bear. There may be people who like sport. Their favorite toy is a ball. Or if you're at the beach, maybe your favorite toy is the ball. So there's one, two, just make them a bit smaller so you can see, or so that they fit, three, four. Well, it looks like lots of people like the ball, five, six, Oh, sorry, this is number six. And here is number seven. Okay, so we have seven people whose favorite toy is the ball. Then next we have the car, the toy car. I wonder how many people's favorite is the toy car. One. Two, three, four, five, Ooh, lots of people, and six. So there are six people whose favorite toy is the car. So you can see we've got four people who like dolls, three people who like the teddy bears, seven people who like balls, and we have six people whose favorite toy is the car. Next, we have a book. Wonder who the bookworms are in grade two. Oh, there's only one person who likes reading. I hope more of you like reading than just one of you. Then next is the train. There's one, two, three. So there are three people. Oh, wait, there's one more. Four people who like playing with trains. And then who likes playing with the dollhouse? There's also only one person. And then Lego, you can make some very cool things out of Lego. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven people who like their 
So if we look at this, we can say that there are four people who like dolls, three who like teddy bears, seven who like balls, six who like cars, one who likes reading books, four who like playing with the trains, one who likes playing with doll houses, and we have seven people who like playing with Lego. So that's one way of showing it. Now, so there you can see it, it's a bit bigger. Let's move this for you. And if we look at it like this, we can see that this is a different way of showing the number of people who like all the favorite toys of the people. So we've got a picture of the doll at the bottom over here. Then we've got a teddy bear, a ball, a car, a book, train, house, and Lego. And you can see that I have done different colors for each graph. So for number two, we had, well, for the dolls, we had four people who liked the dolls. So all of these ones should be in pink. So if I said to you, you need to make sure that it looks correct because not all of them are right, you would then have to color in two extra blocks because there would be four people who like dolls. Then you would color in an extra block for the teddy bears. I see what's happened here. My pictures have moved. Then you would color in three for the teddies. We have seven for the balls, six for the cars, one for the book, four for the train, one for the house, and seven for the Lego. So this is what we call a bar graph. And at the bottom, we've got the different toys. And at the side is the number of people who like that toy. I would like you to go and think of some of your favorite things and your favorite toys. And when we get back to school, hopefully we can do this in class and you can tell me which one is your favorite toy. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a fabulous week.